Yeah, sometimes I think that I am thankful way too much without meaning it. You know what I mean? I don't know. If, if, I mean, if uh, most of us, if not all of you, have been raised to say thank you quite often for just about everything. You know, it's just have good manners, say thank you. Look at somebody in the eye when you say thank you. Thank you, you know, thank you for, you know, that, that, you know, allowing me, you know, opening the door for me. Thank you for handing me that plate. And if there's tacos on the plate, thank you for that plate of tacos, right? You know, it's like we, uh, we, we get into this ritual of th- saying thank you without meaning it sometimes. I mean, it's not entirely a bad thing to say, hey, thanks, man, you know, thanks, you know, to, for, for little things and big things and medium things. It's not, it's not a bad thing. I think we should be saying thank you all the time. But we should also mean it every time too, right? And I think that, you know what, you know, going through life, trying to be polite, again, not a bad deal. But when we talk to the one who like created all things, man, and we, you ever, you ever say, oh, thank God, you know, that that happened or, or thank the Lord and stuff like that. Man, you, you, you have to mean that when you say that. I just think it's really important that we mean it. And I know you're like, okay, well, what do you mean? How do I mean that? You know, the psalmist, uh, uh, well, one of the psalms, his name is David, King David. He wrote a psalm, Psalms 111, and he said, praise the Lord. Now, I love saying praise the Lord, but I love meaning it too. He said, praise the Lord. He says, I will give thanks to the Lord with my whole heart. With my whole heart, he said. And that, when I read that line, it just struck me because I'm like, wait a second. I say thank you to the Lord a lot, but am I saying it with my whole heart? And what does that even mean, you know? <clears throat> I remember when I was a little kid one time. And me and my family were on this boat and we're in this lake, right? And we're just kind of hanging out. And I wasn't a good swimmer yet, right? But, but yet, you know, I'm, I'm over trying to reach, trying to see if I can attract some, some fish or something, you know? And, and, and I fell in. And I remember when I fell in, I was like, I was just looking and I couldn't move. And I couldn't go up and I wasn't going down. I just seemed to be stuck in this area. And I freaked out. I couldn't breathe. And I didn't know what to do. I was just a little kid, man. I didn't know what to do until finally, all of a sudden, I felt something pulling my head up. And it was my mom. She reached over the boat, grabbed down below, grabbed me by my hair, literally lifted me out of the water with my hair. And I was like, thank you. <laughs> I was like, thank you so much. You know, I was really, really thankful for that. I was, I was extremely thankful because it blew me Oh, you know, a way like I was undone. I didn't think, I thought that was it, you know. Another time I'm, I'm kicking back out by the swimming pool, man. And by now I'm like a junior higher and I'm hanging out by the swimming pool in our apartments. And I remember that, the, that there were some ladies that were all over here hanging out. And there was this little boy hanging over the edge of the pool. And I just happened to watch him reach and fall into the pool. And I dove into the pool to go get him. I go, hey, he fell in. Then nobody saw it. The women were just talking. The mom didn't even see it. And I dove into the pool and underwater, I could see the boy. He was about this high under, from, from, the, from, the, uh, from the surface of the water. He wasn't touching the ground and he was just doing this. And he wasn't moving. And I went and I just grabbed this little boy and I pulled him out of the pool. All right. And at that, at that point, the, the, the family goes, what are you doing with that baby? I go, he fell in. And the mom just came and she was in tears and she was so thankful. I mean, she was literally thankful with her, her whole heart. And I'm just, I'm just challenged by this when, when, when I'm, when I'm wanting to be thankful, man, to God and, and not just give him lip service and say, Hey man, thanks God. You know, thanks for that parking spot. You know what I mean? Or, you know, thanks for, I found this thing on sale. Thank you so much. You know what I mean? I want to know that when I say thank you to the Lord, I am completely thankful with my whole heart. You know, he said, uh, the, the scripture goes on to say, great, great are the works of the Lord stu- uh, and to be studied by all who love him, right? And, uh, and when we think about that, we think, okay, well, I'll open up the scriptures and I'm, wow, this is a great works of the Lord. He's literally talking about the works that he does in your life, the things that he's actually been doing in your life. All right, think about this, man. I don't know where you're at right now. Things may be going kind of crazy right now in your life or things may be going really, really good or maybe you're somewhere in between. Regardless, man, we didn't, we didn't pay for any of this. this. This is air that we're breathing, all right? The beauty that he allows us to experience every once in a while. We didn't pay for none of that. How often are you thankful? When you look in the eyes of your children, how often do you look at the Lord and say, man, thank you so much, Lord. When you look at your spouse, man, and you look in his eyes or her eyes, man, how often are you just completely with your whole heart, man, thank you, Lord. 
even when things are going bad, how often are you just, thank you, Lord? I just want to challenge you to that this week. You know what I mean? Just, you know, like I said, we have this habit of saying thankful and thank you, and it's not entirely bad. But what does it look like for you to be so thankful that it's just like, you know, thankful to like, you know what, like to that, to that event, like where you just saved your life. Like if I had a pair of headphones on and I'm walking in the middle of the street and you came and tackled me and I'm like, what the heck's going on? This garbage truck just flies by. I'm going to be so thankful to you. You know, I don't care if you threw me on the ground. I don't care how crazy I got. I don't care how dirty I got. I don't care if my headphones broke. You just saved my life. And sometimes when God rushes into our life and we're just like, whoa, we're just caught in the world. We don't know what's going on and we're ready to blame him for stuff. And we don't really realize that he just saved your life. He just saved, my, he just saved our life. What does it look like for you to just be entirely thankful with your whole heart? You know, we're, we're, we're coming on this season of, of Thanksgiving. You know, and there's going to be, you know, hey, all these thank yous going on. Well, when you look a person in the eye and you say thank you, Challenge yourself to ask yourself, am I really thankful and how can I really express that? And when you look up to the Lord and you tell him thank you, he's looking at your heart. So maybe, maybe you should mean it, right? I love you guys. Thanks.